98 from an undisclosed area overlooking an undisclosed parking lot. Parking lot. Next to a wooded area. Where woodland creatures probably use the bathroom. But we cannot confirm it because I don't see any to ask. Much to the chagrin of Beast Barnett. So, for the people that love the snaps, my The Sign of the Times 24-7 International YouTube heavy, Heritage Heavyweight title, which I hold proudly. Proudly. Business card of Casey Carlisle, whom I love. NWA World's Women's Champion. Whom, despite lack of video evidence, did in fact team with devastatingly handsome Dash Venture Sullivan. Much as I did. Casey Carlisle greeting cards, which are available at CaseyCarlisle.com. That's CaseyCarlisle.com for all of your gift giving needs. Let's say you need to get somebody a gift for Halloween. You get Casey Carlisle photos. And greeting cards and you send it to them what better gift than that the Twitter where you can follow me but not literally much like Dash Venture who just started following me yesterday but to my knowledge not literally unless he's behind here but I don't see him don't see him the Facebook the form spring the YouTube which you might be watching right now right now Casey Carlisle pictures and picture of Team Bad News. Look at that. And I believe this is available for your Halloween gift giving needs. Available at CaseyCarlisle.com. NWA World's Women's Champion and Halloween Gift Extraordinaire. The Team IOU comic book. And this week, this is Sign Guy's top. Five bathrooms and the worst. We will start with the worst. Hamlin Park upper ball field bathrooms. Dirty. No toilet paper or towels and no hand dryer working. I don't want to say it's the worst in the entire world but according to her it is. And it might be way out in the distance which you can't see. But way out in the distance. Worst bathroom ever, apparently. Ever. So, the top five Outback Steakhouse, we're labeling it Blokes and Sheila's. That's the Outback Steakhouse. Number two, the Creekside Church in Mount Lake Terrace, Washington. Number three, Jay's Cafe in Kenmore, Washington. Number four, Shake and Go Burgers in Shoreline, Washington, apparently for the picture of Marilyn Monroe. And number five, the Daily Grind Coffee Shop in Nashville, Indiana. That's the Daily Grind. Apparently they have an amazing bathroom. Criteria included clean, having no water on the counters, a nice smell to it, nicely decorated. So QT, if you'll wipe the counter in your loo, put in some Febreze, clean it up a bit, maybe yours will make the cut next time. So you have work to do, QT. So, this week coming up, busy week, the other day, Arella Angel could not come onto the show, so Casey Warfield did, and she was interviewed by my women's expert. The forearm ninja Cameron Star, who would in fact kill QT if she ever forearmed him. Not a doubt in my mind. It's not even up for debate. He would die instantly. We'd bury him like right over here in this like bush area. Because it'd be a lot cheaper than paying for a funeral. Week ahead, Sunday, on Turnbuckle, we have JB Moonshot. J.B. Moonshine, the former Boy Toy Billy, now back to J.B. Moonshine. He'll probably be taking hits off that jug while he's doing the interview. Then, I'm going to beeline it down to Blue Collar Wrestling where I am medically cleared to count pinfalls and check for submissions. 
Hopefully Damon Scythe won't try to kill me again, but he might. He loves to do that. We'll have to see. Monday. Yeah, pretty much free. Tuesday, the lounge. Stevie may or may not have a guest. But in fact, she will be getting QT's review of the cinematic masterpiece. Hell comes to Frogtown. Because QT has promised us. He has promised on the lounge his review of the film. Wednesday. I don't really have much going on. Thursday. Looking kind of open unless QT wants wind sprint duties again. Maybe we could wind sprint past some of the cleanest bathrooms in America, QT. And Friday of next week, we have on the program AK Lightning, the Alaskan representative of the AIWF World Cruiserweight Title Tournament. So he will be on the program on Friday talking World Cruiserweight Title Tournament, which will be a week out at that point. However, the day after he interviews with us, he has a big APW show. The first APW show in a long time without George Mack, the hashtag Cripple Casanova. The hashtag Ravishing Rap. So we'll see how APW survives without him. We could ask AK Lightning his thoughts, and I think I will next week. So to review, don't go to the Hamlin Park upper ball field bathroom, because it's horrible, apparently. And it may be off in the distance, but you probably can't see it, because it's really distant. And if you need some Casey Carlisle memorabilia for Halloween, gift-giving needs, someone comes to your door, they knock on the door, they want a trick or treat, you say, here's a treat. Casey Carlisle picture. You'll have kids banging on your door for weeks to come, begging you, begging you for more. It's Sunday, JB Moonshine. Probably be gonna drink a gallon of whatever's in that jug. Hopefully he'll be coherent for the interview. Then I beeline down to Portland for BCW, where I'm medically cleared finally. Monday. Pretty much free. Tuesday to lounge. Stevie going to be getting a movie review for sure. Maybe she'll have a guest by then. Who knows? Wednesday. Uh, pretty much free. Thursday, possible wind sprints past some fine blues with QT. Friday. AK Light. So, pretty much in this undisclosed, shady looking wooded area above a parking lot next to where we'll throw QT's dead corpse when Cameron Starr forms him into oblivion episode 98 